Chapter 8 The Secret of the Sea Bubbles of air started to rise from the insides of the earth. The sounds of distant bells travelled up with them. The peculiar tones rippled in the waters and spread through the reef. With each tinkle of the bells, the light of the seasters grew stronger and they started to gain strength. Gentle currents surrounded the kingdom and soothed its inhabitants. The reef shone with mysterious lights and colours. From the depths of the hollow, a glorious cathedral rose up, one tower emerging after the other. Its walls glimmered with gold, and its decorated towers glistened with jewels and shells. The glowing cathedral now stood in full glory, and its doors and windows began to open one by one. A powerful shockwave blasted over the reef. The cathedral's organ pipes thundered and the shells opened up, sending rays of pearly light into the depths of the sea. The rays of light pulled Maub out from hiding and lifted the monster in a tight grip to face the king. No light! I can't take it! I want to go back into the dark! <laughs> Maub scrabbled and struggled and tried to release the strong grip of the rays of light. But the more they resisted, the brighter the light became. The monster started to shrivel and shrink. They shrank until they were little and finally melted away completely in the bright lap of the light. Someone singing in the cathedral. Who is it? The ancient ones. Those who lived before us. The ancient ones have returned here by the call of the whales and have come to help us.
The song of the ancient ones brought life back to the kingdom. The pearly light rays of the shells touched the dead water plants and they were brought back to life. The dark spell of Maub was released. The monster's army disappeared and every creature rejoiced as they were once again their own bright selves. The sea calmed down and water receded from the land. People's houses on the shore remained untouched. Life started to bloom in the home reef. The sisters tended to their errands and sent balls of light as a message to the humans who had now returned to their homes. Oliver threw one last light ball in the air that he had been patiently tending to. He sent it to the small boy who had seen him at the breakwater. This is for you, so you remember me. Here I am, underneath the surface, just as real as you are real. Take care and dream big. And most importantly, cherish your light. It is the most precious treasure that you own. <laughs>